Hello and welcome back. My name is Jim Woods and I'm going to help you increase your energy and help you become a more adaptive leader and employee. Diversity and inclusion are mindsets whose limitations are more about us than others. We can be a perpetual victim or take command of our thoughts. If someone speaks ill of us, we can bathe in anger or choose how we will respond. Believing that you can control your own or determination about your own fate means that you have recognized your internal point of control. It means that you take responsibility for your thoughts and actions as well as their outcomes. By thinking this way, you can become unstoppable. You can learn how to control your fate. Now, diversity and inclusion aren't policies, but a decision to be self-efficacious. Uh, I am the master of my attitude. Here are several steps that have worked well with some of our customers. One, accept the hard truths. To control your fate, you must first accept who you are and where you are and right now. If you fool yourself into thinking that you're further along in your goals than you really are, you'll leave yourself with nothing to accomplish. And at the same time, don't convince yourself that your life is worse than it really is. Take a step back. Look at your circumstances from a new perspective. Develop your self-awareness and accept reality. You can't make a plan to control your fate if you don't know your starting point. Number two is question your assumptions. Accepting reality doesn't mean you just sit back and forget about how to control your fate. It means that you take ownership of what you can change and forget about the things that you can't. You can't control what others do or think. You can't control the market. The only thing you can change is your own mindset. To do that, you must question the story you tell yourself and transform it into one that empowers you, limiting your beliefs, the negative things we tell ourselves about the way we are and the way the world is only holds you back from fully controlling your fate. So. In a nutshell, let go of your fears. Then the next step would be number three, let go of the past. Your past is not your future unless you live there. To control your own fate, you must first forgive those who have hurt you and let go of the past, realizing that nothing in life has any meaning except the meaning you choose to give it. Will you give your past a meaningful, uh, meaning-filled life without hurt or would you give it pain? When you realize what's made you and who you are today is that pain. Your past can give you inner strength and a deep belief in yourself that you can and choose a life that's neg negative or positive. Number four is explore your relationships. Nothing affects the quality of your life and your ability to control your fate more deeply than your relationships at work and at home. They are a window into your values and your belief systems, including your beliefs about yourself. They are the source of life's greatest pleasure and life's greatest pain. And they can either propel you toward your goals or keep you stagnant. Sometimes you must cut ties with unhealthy relationships and that no longer serve you. This is one of the hardest parts of learning how to control your fate or control your own life. But you can't fly when you're weighed down. Number five would be to reveal your driving force your relationships also provide clues about your driving forces, the ultimate reason you do the things that you do while you have the job you have. We're all driven by six human needs, certainty, significance, variety, our love connection, growth, and our contribution. We want to be valued. We need all of these things at a certain level, but we each have one top need that drives us more than others. By looking at your life in the context, you'll be able to more successfully control your fate because you will recognize and fulfill your needs in a positive way. So face your fears, don't hide from them, be vulnerable. So one of the ways that we can face our fears is fear is natural survival instinct, but like our relationships, it doesn't always serve us. And if you're living in fear, you can never truly learn how to control your fate. To become your best self and realize your unlimited potential for growth, you must learn how to use fear instead of letting fear use you. 
Be vulnerable with your partner, your coworkers. Take steps to start that business you dream of. Sign up for a public speaking class. Whatever you are afraid of, go do it today. Take charge. Let fear control your life. You control it. So number seven is to design your life. You created a new positive beliefs that let you go now that gives your relationships more power. You're feeling confident and you're empowered now, but now is the time to design a new life. You can do, have, and be anything you want. So think big. What is your true purpose in life? What energizes you? What is your vision for an extraordinary life or workplace? You can achieve all of these if you're willing to say, it's if it's up to me, I am responsible, and it will happen. Reset your goals. Whatever you consistently think about and focus on at work, upon you will achieve it. Meaning that if you think about fear all the time, if you focus only that people don't like you, they don't get you, they don't care about you, they all have an end for you, the boss will never understand you, you're visualizing something that will be apparent in your present life. You want to see things differently. Ask yourself, who are the people I can help? And who are the people that I can bring in and I can mentor and coach them in the positive attributes of our company? You felt you joined this company for a reason. You wanted to work in this team for a reason. Now determine yourself, I am going to give back. I am no longer going to take. I'm no longer going to be an absorber of falsehoods, of stories about how bad this is or how bad this or how little the company is doing. I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to act on it. I'm going to make it better myself. I am going to be that leader. Well, my name is Jim Woods. And the purpose of this is to tell you that you have the power. You can take responsibility for where you are in your company right now. And you can say, the responsibility, the control of this is up to me. We have a diversity inclusion program. If it's not working right, there are people who want to hear my suggestions and want to improve it. Trust me, people at work care about you more than you think they care about you if you only change the stories that people don't. I'm here for you. Have any questions? You take care of yourself, and I can't wait to hear how you make things grow. Take care. Bye.